Hey guys, Andy BTW here today for the Dublin Derby between Bohemians, Shamrock Rovers, you know how it is. Um, have I got a prediction? Well, forget prediction for a sec. Uh, let me give you a bit of insight before this. Uh, some of you might be joining in for the first time. Not even know what Bohemians or Bowls even is. The club I support. And we've been having a rocky, rocky, rocky season this year. Um, we've, what is this? We're sixth in the league. We've just sacked our manager and we're having a mare. We are. We're having a nightmare this year. We want this season to be done with. And we play Shamrock Rovers, the best team in the league today. Our biggest rivals. And this is the one of the hardest games I've ever had to predict. And I, I can't predict it, but um, we'll sp this will be a very interesting game to see. Will Derek Pender get the response he needs from the players? You're coming in, you know, as a new, you know, not manager. He's the assistant, but he's the manager right now. So he's the one giving us orders. and Yeah, and I'm... Don't know what to expect, uh, to be honest with you. Um, I'm going to say, going to give my prediction now, screw it. I'm going to say one all. But I have been debating all bloody day if to say 5-0 Rovers, 2-1 Bowls, 1 all. Because this is the hardest game I've ever had to predict. Because... Part of me thinking, oh, there's going to be a great response from Bowles. They're going to go out there and get two early goals and win 2-1. There's another side of me that's saying these are the same players that true keep long under the bus. They'll lose the game 5-0. They'll get hammered. And there's the other side of me that's like, there'll be an improvement slightly and they'll get a draw. And I'm going to say with the draw because I believe there will be a response and I do believe we'll do something. And yeah, so one else prediction. Um... Yeah, uh, before we know what else to say, except, um, <clears throat> we have to be patient on the Derek Pender now, you know. We have to be patient, because, as I say, Derek Pender, though, he has to prove himself between now and the end of the season if he wants to get the job on a permanent basis. And by prove... Have to be minimum nine points off top four. Can't be double digits. And it has to, you know, at least get to the semis of the cup. Beat shells away. I feel like there's a few things he has to do. He has to get a response from the players. Because part of me, if we played Rovers later on, it would have said, I'll get a result against Rovers. I don't think that's very fair on a man just coming in. That, that's not very fair. But because... We lose tonight, we've lost every single game against Rovers this season, all four of them. That is abysmal. That has to be some light. I even get a point tonight. But, yeah. Anyway, it's been me, and I'll see you as a day mount. Yeah. Hey, guys. Uh, about half an hour in, and, um... You know what have I got to say? We're defending quite well, but it hasn't been a great game. We're not attacking enough, we're not going on the counter enough, which it doesn't... We're trying to play the right way, but we're not playing the right way, if you know what I mean. Uh, we could, though. We have nothing up front. I've been saying it for weeks. Players we brought in aren't good enough. And I don't know what to say, but... It hasn't been a great first half. A lot of improvement for the second needed. To We'll see. We'll see what we can do. We're not a great first half. Rovers down 10. Clean out. Second yellow. Mad. Mad, mad, mad. Bowles, I, told, I said in the prediction, I thought Bowles would have been a fight about them tonight. And I was right. I'm surprisingly, you know, 20 minutes or so to go. I wouldn't be shocked if we got a winner here. But I don't know. We're loving it. I told you! I told you! I just felt it tonight! Like, just don't foul it! Don't foul it! We defended really well! Throughout this entire game! It's like 15 minutes or two left, I don't know! Just don't foul it! 
now, Bob. Do not follow this now. Hey guys, Andy here, back after Bose beat Rovers 1-0. I still can't believe it. I can't believe we finally won. I was going to say it in the prediction and change my mind last second, I mean. But anyway, what can you do? Uh, anyway, I thought it was a much better performance from the lads. I feel like Derek Pender's done something there immediately. Like, the defence was so much better. The first half we went great, but my god in the second half we came out, fought for every ball, went on a counter, scored a goal, got Rovers frustrated in everything that we have been lacking for the last year under Keith Long. He did everything we've been lacking. It was brilliant to watch, a great win, and Hopefully, it's a bit of a confidence booster for the lads now. There's no more excuses to, um, you know, throw Keith Long under the bus. Derek Pender's come in and he's done a good job there. But we cannot get over too excited because there's still a lot of problems at this club. There is. Uh, do not be giving Derek Pender the, the job on the full time just yet. Wait till the end of the season because it was one game. Um... Tardek and Varpen, I think his name is, uh, the two attackers we have. Why are they still at the club? They're about, I'm going to say, I don't rate either of them. I really don't. I think they're both not good enough for the club. I mean, and that's where our problem's at. we got attackers who aren't good enough. And we probably do need a big, well, not big name. We do need a centre-back who would fit into that team and defend like a beast. We need one of them. There's still a few little things we need. Man, not little things. There's a few good things we need. But uh, How can you say? It was a brilliant win. They're away to Derry next week and then away to Shelburne in the Cup. Which I'm going to try and get tickets for, but I don't think I will be able to, sadly. But Derry, there's no way, I mean... There's no way I'd get tickets for Derry, but even if I did, I don't think I'd go all that way up. I love the club to bit. They've done every single home vlog, and I would do a wave, but eh, we'll see. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's been me, and I'll see you in the next one.